Well, hello, my fine feather friend. Fine feathered friends. There we go. See? I can speak English, you guys. I'm just coming at you with another play of Torchlight 2. We have done a few more quests since we have gone. I'll show you what's new and what's not new. Because I'm an idiot and I turned my microphone off for some reason while I was recording. And I recorded while I had no fucking voice audio at all. I, I don't know. I'm dumb. And shit like that happens, I guess. But, you know, Pancakes, he's a little more jacked up now. Look at this beast's health. Ooh, that's some nice crispiness. Now we we'll are come over here. Nope, that's that's not crispiness. Right here, my items. We're looking a little better at what we're doing, but this is the big thing. This is what I want you guys to have input on. I'm an idiot, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing dual-fisted weapons, punching, throwing some sweet jabs, doing all that jazz. What do I do? Do I do I do I raise dexterity or strength? I'm pretty sure it's dex. That's what I've been going with. So I, I guess that's what we're gonna roll with. And I also got this sweet uppercut move. Yeah, yeah, so things have been looking up in the world of me kicking some ass and taking some names. I'm just going to use my new sweet skills without dying. Another thing I noticed about this game, which is great, is the fact that I never really have to buy pots. Well, I do. Technically, I do. But I don't. Because I get a lot when I'm playing. Oh, God. No. Okay. All right. Oh, God. There's so much going on. I don't know what, whether to focus on him or, or him or, or Pancakes, who is glowing a blue light of some sort. This is nice. But we're doing the quest today called the Ember Keys. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Whew, almost died there. It would have been bad, but whatever. But anyways, guys. And I'd also like to touch on a few topics with you. I know E3 has been going on, and honestly, E3 is oh, fucking amazing. Why not, right? Uh, I wish I could be there. I got, another, I got a cool story to tell you about E3 and why it's hilarious and why y'all would laugh at it. I don't like these guys already. Oh, these guys are going to piss me off. Fucking. They just whip bombs at you. Any, any character in any game that whips bombs at you is a dick. Oh, that's why he's a foreman. <laughs> I got a plunger. But anyways, guys, E3 is this year. Um, I've been watching a little bit of the coverage. I'm not I'm not that kind of person that, that has the time. I don't have the time to sit and watch. I really wish I did because that'd be fucking awesome. You know, tell me what you think about it. What, how, how do you like what's going on with EA? They just announced Battlefront 3. Oh, my God, dude. Do you remember that? I mean, come on. PS2? Those were the fucking golden days of gaming. You could just go into a full-out Star Wars battle. I remember when I first fucking found out about this game. My parents my parents were the first ones to buy it. My dad was like, dude, you can battle, and it's Star Wars. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm like six, and this is the greatest thing next to sliced white bread. Uh, maybe. Bread's pretty tasty, though. So anyways, like I was saying, all this new shit's coming out, and then... Xbox failed. I mean, Xbox One failed. They sh with their Battlefront um, video. That was awesome. That made my day. Too bad for that uh, cloud server, right, guys? Oops. So much for that, right? But anyways, so a lot of interesting things coming out. A lot of good titles. Battlefront. Um, Battlefront Three was one of them that I really, 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 really am looking forward to. And another one is, anyways, another one would be the. Watchdogs. I do enjoy Watchdogs. Uh, I, I can't wait for it. It's honestly going to be a real in-depth game. I mean, other than that, nothing really impressed me from E, uh, from EA or uh, from Ubisoft. But I can't complain. Um, a lot of good games are going to be coming out. I'm pumped. As a gamer, you guys should be too. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oh my Jesus. This next generation. I mean, PC gamers are going to reap the benefits greatly because. Finally, people are going to start making games that the computers are actually going to be able to use their processing power. Like, like we can record. Like, right now I'm recording. I'm getting 30 frames solid. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. And I don't, I don't know. I just find it amazing, and I'm looking forward to what they're going to be putting on the uh, PC. If, if games are going to be exclusive or anything like that, I would like it. But, you know, 
hopes and dreams. I was hoping for a new Half-Life. Sadly disappointed. <laughs> Rest in peace, Half-Life, I guess. No. Um, another great thing, though, is that... Ooh, I got an under... Ooh. No, um, another great thing, though, is... Oh, yeah, I have a story to tell you. Fuck that. I fuck great things. We're gonna go on stories. We like stories here, right, guys? Did I get what I needed to get in here? I'm pretty sure I did. No. No, I didn't. But anyways, guys, another story that I got for you, my uh, sister's boyfriend, when he was a bit younger, around my age, he did a little bit of work for a company in Las Vegas, and they they couldn't make it to E3, and they're like, hey, you guys want our press passes, and of course, any person in their right mind would be like, oh, fuck yeah, hand me over that pass right now, dog. So of course they had to take it, but they had to get the right credentials so they could get in. They had to get legitimate, like, they had documentation from the company saying that they could go but they had to go under the names of the people who were invited to go. They couldn't just go as themselves. And the only person that could go as themselves was my, my sister's boyfriend himself because he, he did, I guess, some music for the game. I, mean, I don't know what game it is. I'll find out for you guys if you're interested. But um, besides for that, they had to sneak in people. And the funny thing about it was is that the people that made the game were of Hispanic heritage. So their names were like Gutierrez and shit like that. So mind you we're from new york we're all pasty white kids and we look it uh, so when he when him and his friends went they brought along two people the one guy got in no problem because he had he looked a little bit mexican my sister's boyfriend got in no problem because he had actual credentials for the company um but they, they brought along their other friend ryan who unfortunately does not look mexican at all the funny part about it is is that he actually looks more or less, he is he is ginger. He is, he has red hair. He has no soul. I'm just kidding. No, he has a soul. But he's ginger, and because of this, they they stopped him at the gate. They're asking him all these questions, like about the game and everything. And you know, he he's doing fine. He's answering them, but they they still wouldn't let him go because he looked. He did not look of Hispanic uh, descent. So funny thing is, is as they're arguing, four people walk by. Four four Hispanic gingers. Did you know that they existed? I didn't. That's fucking amazing. Like, come on, that's awesome. I love Hispanic gingers and I want one in my pocket. I feel like that's where they should be in my pocket. But no, like literally, gingers, Hispanic gingers. And they came up and they're like, hey, we're Hispanic gingers and we're from the or, we're from the north of, uh, of Spain and Mexico. And the guy's like, no way. And so they show them all of this fucking, they show them, show them all their credentials and everything, you know, and everything, everything is all settled now all of a sudden, and they let them go in for the games. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, like, you can get away with things, but you have to be very, very lucky, I suppose. And that's what happened, so, you know, they had a great time at E3, um, they saw a lot of cool things, I, oh, god, I wish I could go, you guys, honestly, I wish I could go to all of those events that make me happy like a small child on Sunday morning. Easy like Sunday morning. But anyways, yeah, like, that's just amazing. Like, I can't believe they, they managed to pull that off. Like, that is some fucking Ocean's Eleven shit that I couldn't do because I'm obnoxious as fuck, and they'd be like, yo, you're that really loud kid. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I am, what of it? And then they fight me and beat me up and steal my underwear. But anyways... What do you what do you guys think of the E3 coverage so far? W would you like me to cover it a little bit more, a little better, like find out some things? Another thing I just found out that was fucking awesome. I mean, who hates the NSA here? I'm pretty sure everybody, because you know, fuck the NSA. Like ridiculous shit has leaked. Like they're watching you do your thing. Like you could be looking at some boobies, and then be like, well, this guy's looking at boobies. Now I'm not saying they're underage boobies. You perverts out there, get your mind out the gutter. But no, like they. They've been surveying us, and now apparently a bunch of people. Ooh, oh my God, that is amazing! What is that? Holy Jesus, this is the greatest boss of my life. This is awesome. But um, in all seriousness, guys, they fucking have been spying on us. You know, we we're supposed to be the land of free, home of the brave. I don't feel very free nor brave in any sense of the term, unless I'm playing a sick ass game. But the crazy thing about it is, is that now people are. are it is. It is violating our rights as human beings. We have the right to be free. I don't want people looking at what I have looked at. That makes no sense. I don't want people looking at, like, me looking at them or something like that. Or, or, you know, dirty, dirty things. I don't want people knowing what my buns look like. Like, I don't... Oh! Oh, my God. 
What have I just done? I can't, I don't want to leave this, I don't want to return to the entrance, it's too much walking. See, this is what happens when you're, you know, first world problems and you give us that option. Of course we're going to spend the money if we've got the money. Oh no, not cool. This guy can obviously do like one hit quits. Um, but anyways, yeah, they're violating our rights and now people are taking action against it. They're like, fuck no, I don't want you seeing me on my webcam touching my boobies and all that dirty stuff. And, you know, honestly, I, I, I believe people should win. I believe people should fucking win those cases because there's no way in hell do I want people watching me do the dirty on my webcam or watch me or look up what I've been looking at. You know what I mean? And honestly, you, you guys should not like it either. But with everything bad, always comes something good. I say that with everything because it's a true statement and it always comes to par and it always shows it always shows what, what happened and you no, know, it does stop a lot of things, you know, such as terrorism and crap like that. I mean personally, fuck terrorism. The more we fucking the more we fucking patronize it, the more people are gonna be like, Oh god, terrorism, it's such a bad thing. Oh well, no shit, it's a bad thing, but if you keep making these people like superstars for doing it, they're gonna keep doing it because they know it's affecting you. But in any case, let's get back to gaming. Enough of my rants, my raves, my homemade recipes. You guys remember that Nickelodeon magazine? Amazing. But oh, this boss, this boss, this boss, this boss. Unidentified. I, what do you mean? I, it's full already. No. I'll pick up that. I don't want that. That's. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Who is calling me? Ignoring it. I'm doing something important. Wow, there's a lot of bosses in here. This is amazing. Oh, I'm gonna die. Sweet. Detonators. <laughs> Run, pancakes! What have I received? Glorious goodies from above. And pan- Ooh! Those are yellow boots. Dope. Double dope. Let's identify these. Are they any good? Yeah, they aight. They aight. They are easy. But anyways, guys. Yeah, there's, there's some of the things that are going on that have been, like, really, like, bugging me. Bugging the piss out of me. But now that I have a plunger, I gotta go back and get that thing, don't I? Yeah, I do. All right, let's get a running, get a running with pancakes. Cause we run, we run, we run so far away. Stalagmites and stalactites that kind of look like penises, grain penises. Oh my God, I'm so fucking hot right now. I don't know why I'm sweating. It's okay though. I've got, I've got Kool Aid. I'm gonna take a sip of my Kool Aid. Kool-Aid. Should be like a swear of some sort. Like, yo, bitch, get your fingers out my Kool-Aid. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. Oh my god. I don't get it. What have I done? I haven't done anything in here. Fuck, fuck, I'm supposed to get some sort of key, but I haven't got a key. I got an unidentified helmet. That's about it. It says, pressure me off. Pissing me off. It's fucking, it's fucking gay as hell. I love butters. Another big one that, oh my god, what was the, what was the name of the, I actually got a poster of it on my wall right now. What is it called? New South Park game. No, it doesn't have a name on it. Uh, but no, the new South Park game actually done by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. That's going to be something to look out for because not only are both of them into video games, which is awesome, but they are also both into being badasses and actually putting time into a storyline that we can all enjoy from South Park cast, but with a hardcore RPG behind it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying the fact that there's a lot more games out there that are not just straight up FPS. If I have to fucking play another FPS, no, I, I, I love FPS. So if there was another FPS, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm going to jump all over that FPS. But unfortunately, 
they have been using the shit out of FPS. So I think this is the this whole new generation thing is going to have new ways of for them to make new different kind of I guess you could say experiences for you to enjoy. I mean this whole TV thing I'm not really into. I don't want to play TV. I, I, the exact reason I watch TV is so I can be lazy, so why would I want to put effort into being lazy? That makes no sense to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What am I doing? I need to figure out what this is. Acquire past frost, past key ember at Slaver Stockade. Where am I right now? I am... I am here. What do we... Slaver stairs up. Turn the surface. I don't know. I gotta keep searching, I guess, because I don't think I have it. If I don't, I will be pissed. I don't know. Is there a way you can see your quest items? You, you should also um, put that in the comment section below because I don't know. I'm gonna play this game so hard. It's gonna make make you poop a duke. Thumbs up if you know where poop a duke is. I'm gonna make you both poop a duke. I'm a big tough baby, I'm a kick of your buns. Kick of your buns, kick 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 of your buns. Okay, so apparently I've got it because there's no star anymore. I mean, I don't know why they would you know, make me think I've done something impressive when I, I haven't. So, uh, let's see here, what, what do we need? We need, uh, why are you here? Why are you right into my, okay. Past key ember, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the, oh. Ooh. Why not? I don't know what those are. That's sweet. That's new. Skills. Oh. Oh, I already acquired the latchkey ember. Okay, good, good. Okay, that makes, yeah, there we go. Never mind, guys, don't post in the comment section below because I am a genius. I am a genius. Awesome. You know, another thing that, you know, really fucking, you know, stunned me today into realizing why I, I've wanted to do these YouTube videos, these things, you know, why I've wanted to, you know, further myself, make myself a better person, because not only these, uh, these videos for you guys, but they're also for myself to keep me sane and to make sure I don't get sent to the loony bin anytime soon. No. Um, these, this is a way for me to outlet everything that's going on in my life and convey it to you guys. And, you know, I appreciate you listening. Uh, I, I, if you enjoy listening, that's even better. I mean, that's like a double whammy, right? Two birds, one stone. Deuces. I, I would like to do that. I want I really want to whip um, uh, a stone at a bird and have the velocity of that stone go so fast that it rips through one bird and shoots into the other. And then I will be having um, uh, squab. Yeah, squab. I love that word. Squab is dead pigeon if you haven't, if you didn't know. Another thing that made me like, you know, back back to topic because apparently I get off uh, I get off topic quite a bit because I'm tarded. Oh, I don't like you. Oh no no no! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! Don't let me die! But no. Okay, back to what I was. Okay, Corey, stay on topic here because you're retarded and you keep getting off topic. But now we're back on topic. Another thing that has been making me want to pursue this like path this choice uh, that I've been making of making YouTube videos is not just for myself but it's also for you guys and another big thing is that uh, another big thing in it is that um, at work today it was my the temple steps I worked today it was my first day I don't know five hour shift it went great if that's why you were wondering I loved it you know I do nothing and get paid for it I love it awesome I make bagels cool but Another thing is, is the girl I worked with today, not only does she have a son that is three years old, and mind you, she's 19, not only does she have a son that's three years old, she as well has a freaking clothing line, works part-time, and goes to school for criminal justice on top of it. And I, I mean, come on, guys, that's, that's, that's really, really impressive. No matter who you are, you can't be like, well, she's fake and she's gay and doesn't exist, so suck a D, bro. No, no sucking Ds. Because this girl 
works her ass off just to see her son happy and see and to make sure his life is comfortable. Whereas, you know, here's me sitting at home playing video games doing nothing. I mean, why not make something of the video games that I play? Why not enjoy what I'm doing? And and honestly, I've I've been loving it, loving every minute of doing this for you guys. So honestly, that's that's what I'm taking from it. I mean, if she can do all this with her life, I can do a little bit more with mine. Sorry if I talk so much. I mean, that's the point of commentary, isn't it? Sorry, I, could have, I parched myself. Nice. Anyway, did I hit? I hit the mic again. I think. Why am I here? No temple. Why are there two temple steps? That's dumb. I was at the temple steps, but I was... Is it the Frosted Hills? I'm confused. But I feel like I should give back a little bit and put a little effort into things that I enjoy. And this is something I enjoy. And if I can take the time out of my day to do this, I'm going to do it. Because I enjoy it. I don't care if no one watches it, no one likes it. It's just a way for me to... to ah, there we go. That makes a little more sense. It was... Okay, I read the wrong... Th See, this is why I'm dumb, guys. This is why we don't listen to Corey when he says, Let's go this way. Because it's never this way, it's always that way. No, but in all honesty, it's a way for me to vent who I am to you guys in the way I act normally. And this is literally the way I act normally. So, yeah, a little weird, right? No. It's not a char character persona I put on. Like, I'm not entirely sure. It's like... Does Pootie Pie do that? I, I'm pretty sure he would. I, I honestly don't think anyone would act like that, ever. <laughs> because like, no thanks. But no, Pootie Pie, he he is he's an interesting, he's interesting in and of himself. You know what I mean? He has he has a awesome fan base. We support him. I support him. I, I don't know if I'm subscribed to him right now, but honestly, there are more goblins over here. But in all honesty, ooh, thanks, man. That's cool. Thanks, man. Ooh, new quest lines, guys. Yay! Oh wow, it's up here too. Wow, this map's big. But anyways, you know, you know, I don't put it on a character persona. I am who I am in my videos, and I'm not gonna change that because I, I like who I am. You know, getting comfortable with who you are is something that I feel like everyone does at some point. I mean, most people, some people aren't as accepting of it as others, but, you know, I, I've learned that I can't change who I am for anybody, and I'm not gonna, because I'm me, let's face it, like, why change me when I like me? And that's the cool thing, like, you guys should also go that way in your life, and, you know, if someone's like, oh, you're annoying, well, don't listen to me then, right? Like, like I'm not forcing you to listen to my voice, I'm not forcing you to look at me. So, I mean, if someone says that, like, oh, you're annoying, or oh, you're stupid, or oh, you're ugly, you know, you know, obviously they're going to make five-year-old insults to you, because that's the only insults I have in my language. But don't let anyone discourage you. Be you for you. Don't be you for someone else. And, you know, it took me, it, it's, it's unfortunate that it, it happened like that, but it has taken me a while to realize that. And now that I have realized it, I'm so much happier with how I live my life. To be honest. Yeah, I'll be honest. So now we're going in the basement to touch butts and find butts, because that's how we roll. We just like butts here. I like the, I like how it's like an underground thing. I hope there's like some humanoid that's totally badass that I have to kill, because that would make me feel good. Because killing humans is way more satisfying than killing anything else. I don't know why, but human nature, motherfucker, kill each other. But yeah, never let anyone break your spirits, bring you down. Cause no one never got to bring you down. You're the best. Around. See, I even sang for you guys. Um, but yeah, just be yourself because honestly, it's not worth it for anyone else. Oh yes, this is awesome. These are kind of like humanoids. I'm down. I'm game. I'm so game. I'm so game. I'm Rogaine. Ooh. Hey, butthole, don't hurt me like that. I don't dig what you're doing to my face, son. I don't dig it. I don't dig it one bit. Oh, wow. What is that? Psycho? Or no, Pasky Ember. Oh, I had to kill him either way. Ah. Doors can't stop me. I stop doors. Oh, man. We're in the jail. We're in the brig. Oh, dude. I'm going to go save this guy. 
Come fight with me. Did you need something? Yeah, these pants, they're awesome. Or these boots. No, these pants. All right, awesome. That is what I'm calling loot. Annoying phone. Why does my phone keep going off? People don't understand. If I don't answer, I'm doing important sh Whoa! Gold. Sorry, I, I just lost it over that gold there. But I'm gonna fuck these barrels up. There's more bombs. Fuck bombs. Get money. Open doors. Open doors. Get money. Did you need something? This is awesome. They're just like, you know what? You're awesome for coming and saving us. And I'm gonna use this because this is a lot better than mine. Yeah, new weapon. Woo! All right, there we go, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. We got flames on that one, and another one's per. Oh, we look just dapper. That's a word that you you should all use because no one uses it enough. Enough dapper. Like, oh, you're looking quite dapper today. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. I apologize if it picked up that reverberation of the text because you know my sister apparently has no life. Woo! Woo! I'm so happy to save you. Look at you, you little cute little bastard. I just want to eat you up. I just want to pet your ears. I don't know why, but animal ears, the softest ears ever. I mean, have you ever like just sat there and pat a dog's head and rubbed his delightful little ears? Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, no pancakes. Oh, like I bet ferret ears. Their ears would be so awesome. So I think I'm done here, right? Should I just portal out? Yeah, no. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna portal out, guys. It's like, why about? No, I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna walk out like a man. I'm a man. Nope, that's not the way out. A man who cannot find where he's going. I'm a man on a mission. But that mission is to figure out the fuck my mission is. You feel me? Uh, but anyways guys um thank you for listening putting up with my shenanigans putting up with my shit we're gonna go back to town right now um back to town right now back to town right now yeah back to town all right we're going back to town real quick and no no oh, where's the person do you not does this not please you? Did you just get here? Okay, acquire pass key, acquire search. Okay, I did both of those things though. Did I not? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna have to do more on the next video then. Well, what the F, yo? I didn't read that right. And that's okay, guys, because that took up enough of your time today. I will post another episode tomorrow of Awesomeness in Torchlight 2. I'm not calling it that because that's the shittiest name I've ever made up for anything in my life. What the F. But I'm itching my forehead. But anyways, guys, as always, thank you. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that. Tell me how I can prove my videos instead of giving me a thumbs down. I don't care if you do. You do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna judge you. But anyways, thank you very much. As always, I appreciate it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and... Deuces.